ericmothethmother.com. Let's take a look at USO, which is trading at about 14.54, and also which is corresponding with crude oil, trading at about 71.86. So we've seen crude oil have a nice run over the last couple of weeks. I want to show you what I'm looking at here in terms of the short-term view, and it is based on the hourly for crude oil, as you can see here. And what we see is as we move higher, the RSI is not following through. So prices are moving higher. In fact, we've been seeing this trend where we move higher, but the RSI pretty much has been making lower highs. Definitely that is negative divergence, which starts creating the stage for a pullback. Now keep in mind right now we are making intraday highs, the high at 1460. And we can see that this is where the RSI is trading. RSI is struggling to hold above 61.8. Now this tends to be the worst type of negative divergence or the strongest type of negative divergence, suggesting that as prices move higher, we are looking at a situation here where we might actually be looking for a pullback because of that negative divergence. Now this is also confirmed by the MACDs Right now, we can see that the MACDs are not improving. MACD is also showing signs of negative divergence. Now, what this means is that even as crude oil is moving higher, there's a need to be cautious here. Possibility of a pullback also based on the RSI topside resistance coming in play. I would look at this as a situation where the more we see this confirmation of negative divergence, the more it means the next major swing trade for crude oil and USO and energy related names is going to have to be lower. Of course, we shall see. Peace and blessings. E, I see. S. Yeah.